Hello, hello, hello. And today is not a combo guide, a tier list, or play this character or trying to enforce my opinion upon you. Um, what we are doing is a series of case studies on all characters in Dragon Ball Fighter Z. And today we are talking about the prince of all Saiyans, Vegeta the fourth. <laughs> not even the third, Vegeta the fourth. <laughs> so you're saying Vegeta. Now, at a glance, if you look at Vegeta, he's a character that's great at maintaining space. And really making his opponent really have to work for their hits. And really keeping away his opponents, um, peppering them away with great set of pressure tools up close. With some of the coolest combos. And all sorts of all sorts of key. Now, as always, um, in these case studies, we like to talk about characters first in zone. So you're gonna hear me talk about up close, mid-range, and far. And we're going to go through stuff like their buttons in the air, supers and specials before we move on to kind of the win conditions or game plan the character is looking for when they're on the screen, um, especially when they're with a partner. So without further ado, let's begin. So Vegeta, um, up close, he has 5L. Five, um, five let's take off Flecked. So he's 5L, has standard range. Um, it's minus 3, but he can chain it like that. He's got a 2-0, he can chain as well. Um, they're both minus 4 and minus 3. By chain, that means you can do it again successfully. So if I press M, I can't do M twice. If I hold 4-0 um, or back, it lets me do it twice. So this is really good for confirming for Vegeta. His 2M is minus 6, but he's got really good range. So from about mid-range, it actually can hit from there. His 5M... Um, doesn't hit from from this range, but it's nine frames. It's really good if it's really if it's spaced. If it's spaced, your opponent cannot punish it from here because of his boot. So again, this is minus six. So Vegeta can be punished up close if you do end it in this. His LL is only minus two, so this is a very good to extend Vegeta's strings. He can do four L four L minus two so, um, into into another L. So this is really good. For L, L, L. This is really good for strings with Vegeta because he's only minus two. So the opponent has to be really quick to react. Obviously his M's are both minus six, but obviously the, the range is what Vegeta had. So he's gonna be up to minus three as you saw there. It's absolutely mental. Um, five H, um, obviously this hits nearly round start. So just about here, a bit off a round start. So this is really good move to throw out for Vegeta. His 2H is 13 frames, one of the fastest 2Hs in the game. Really, really good for sniping out the opponent there. Especially for close range super dashes. Um, this is really helpful um, to kind of help you out there with the start up there. Now let's go into his air buttons. Actually, his air buttons, Vegeta has jumped 2L. This is not a overhead, so if you go check that. It's not an overhead. But this is kind of good for if you're playing against your opponent. It's a good feint for a fake cross up. So if I was if I was playing against Vegeta, this is good for faking a cross up same side, and able, and you're able to get to get a um to get a mix up there. So what that mix up really looks like, instead of doing this, you can do that to do same side. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's go back into the, the buttons. He has jump M, which is really good. Good range. Delay it a bit and, it's, and it can hit from really, really far out. Especially Vegeta's long buttons. His jump H in the, in the mid range is an approach tool. So a lot of people use when you're moving around, like to throw out IAD jump H's for approach. So this is something you can throw and easily confirm into a combo after. Now those are his air normals. Um, let's quickly go into his supers. So supers, Vegeta has... Shigai, Panga Tak. Rest in peace to Android 19. Um, Vegeta's got two variants of this. When it goes forward. And... When it goes down. So if you, if you, depending on on the on if you press H and S or L and M, it will decide if it goes down 
or it will decide if it goes straight. He also has the final flash. Let's see if you can take this one. Now let's go into Vegeta's specials. So specials, as we saw before, Vegeta has 236L. This move is really unique. Um, it's a unique special because entirely on block, you're safe. So Vegeta is able to maintain an air action and with the right assist, Vegeta can actually air IAD afterwards. That is instant air dash. Or dash forward afterwards and continue pressure or land and hit. So if you have the right assist combinations, you can set up disaster situations where your opponent has to really block. So this is a good way of ending pressure for Vegeta. He can jump away after. Just like imagine like a super dash. So you keep an air action. Exactly the same. He has 236M, which isn't so safe. However, this is primarily used in combos and also for using some assist that allows you to turn around versus your opponent. He also has 236H. Which goes straight through them. Which is punishable no matter how far you are on the screen. Um, so you do have to be wary about that. But it does set up unique situations on block. Like this. Vegeta also has 214L. Which is involta jump attacks. So if, your opponent, if you are in the air. But I'll show you right now. If you're in the air. That 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 will be that's kind of one of his main um game one of the main things he does. While you're throwing out S's, if you just buffer. While you're throwing out S's, Vegeta. And you see buffering is obviously just pressing over and over. So doing this, really strong tactic of Vegeta. So that's the L1 that will beat jump attack. So that's very good for in the air. Very good for when you're on the ground, as well. Because it is faster than your 2H. Your 2H is 13. This is 9. And straight away involved. So that's something you need to think about um, for jump attacks. His M version. Um, obviously this is when the opponent is pressuring you. It's good to throw out. And obviously the H version. Combines them both. The range and all of that. Now I can go on and on about his specials. And applying them. But let's talk about the win conditions. And game plans the characters are looking for. So I already showed you just there with Vegeta. One of his biggest, um, I'm always looking for a point. One of his biggest things Vegeta has is his jump miss. Vegeta has got control of the skies with the angle. He has the most unique angle, some of the most unique angles with, with his jump key blast. He can control space from this angle and throw out many key blasts and still be able to dragon punch or 2140 after. So your opponent has to be very, very wary. So, yes, he's able to, to do big damage by himself and with spark and with, and with the right meter but he's really looking for he's looking for a partner he's looking for partners that help him convert from here so it's great if he hits you but what happens after so we saw that with, with this two assists that I, I have right now this assist isn't really helping Vegeta so it's not really helping converting with that with the, with the S game so it's not really helping there however if I do this Combined with the 0.5, I can I can main, I can um use 236H and do it. But again, it's really really hard. So it's all assist A for base Vegeta is not really helping. Um, Android 18 obviously is a barrier, so it's not helping with converting full screen pressure. However, we also talked about Vegeta has great normals, so he has fantastic normals. So these are minus six. So your opponent really wants to press at some point because it advances. Your opponent wants to press. So this advances forward. So at every single time, Vegeta is always going forward. So it's really scary facing him. Because you're like, when can I challenge? So an opponent, a, a, a smart opponent, obviously, would challenge, right? So one, one of the strong things Vegeta needs in a partner are, are great assists yet that allow him to maintain pressure. So with 18, this will allow, obviously, Vegeta to utilize those strong strings. So we're able to see that... Ve 18 was able to help there. Now base Vegeta, can we do the same thing? Yes. So base Vegeta, he doesn't allow me to convert full screen pressure, but we, we're able to see here that base Vegeta allows me to to call my defensively, defensively call my 
um, assists on, on defense, which allows me to punish, to allow me to punish my opponent. And the only reason why, because for, for Vegeta, he has great strengths, great range, and advancing normals. So by his character design alone, he's he's maintaining pressure. So yes, he's great at full screen pressure and converting assists. So those assists didn't help, but he's also great at, at the inside. So we saw with 18A and 18 and and Vegeta, they're both helpful. Let's try their B assists. So 18 obviously has a destructive disc that goes on the ground. So let's see with Vegeta. Let's see if it helps him. So not really from there. So we're able to see the 18 was it does allow me to. If you do it from here. So 18 does allow Vegeta from full screen. Oh, it looks like I think I'll be able to do this. Oh, I think I can. So we're able to see that 18 allows me a full screen conversion. So that's a great assist. That'll be a good for converting full screen pressure. And up close, let's see. Does it allow me to maintain pressure with assist? Yes. So I, I, just by doing this with Vegeta, I'm able to maintain pressure. So I'm able to still maintain pressure. So a B assist could work for Vegeta as well. A and B. Now Vegeta, let's see. Vegeta has his kick here. Um, so if we go back to the game I talked about as in converting from full screen pressure, bar. Doesn't doesn't quite have the range. So if I was able to do this, doesn't really have the range there. So it's not really something that helps Vegeta convert from full screen when he's playing this, his quote unquote keep away game. However, up close, let's see if it helps me maintain pressure. It's not having himself, right? So there I was able to maintain pressure that way or even just doing... Because, and again, this is just an extending my string. So it's helping me maintain pressure. So Vegeta is really looking to maintain pressure because this minus two is really strong. Combined with DR, combined with same side this, he really wants to put his opponents in situations where they want to press buttons. So we saw that those assists help. Now C assists, Potentially might be better for Vegeta because for, for multiple reasons. Number one, C assists have a unique property of being able to convert from anywhere. See, so from full screen, I can easily convert for Vegeta with both assists. Well, let's see if basically is the assist. Go in the air. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. It doesn't look like that one works. Yep, doesn't look like th that that um that C assist works. So you might have to just test it out with your C assist. We see 18 C assist helped with converting full screen, but obviously Vegeta C assist didn't. So you might you might stray away from that. And up close, if my opponent wants to mash buttons for some reason, 18 is there. So as you saw there, that helps that helps with converting full screen pressure. So these are the kind of things you probably would look out for if you're playing Vegeta. Um, assist that really help converting full screen pressure and also just doing a string. So just doing a normal string. So again. See, right there, that's, re that's a lot plus. So that's really helpful for Vegeta maintaining pressure. Now, if you look at 16 on the other side, we have Android 16. Andre 16. So how does how does Andre how can Andre 16 help? So let's see. If we go back to converting full screen pressure, doesn't really help there. So he might help in this situation. So he helps Vegeta get in, but as we saw, Vegeta getting in from here. So maybe 16 can help that way. So he doesn't help in the air, but 16 is able to help Vegeta get in here because normally this is minus. So now. 16 on hit. How is it on hit? So on hit. Let's do it again. On hit. So as you saw there with, with, with Android 16, that's an assist that could help. I'm up close and maintaining pressure. Sixteen is able to help as well. So as we saw that and with Napa assist. It's exactly the same. So Nafa and Vegeta are probably BFFs. 
Let's see this again. So not not so much full screen. See there, Nappa doesn't really go full screen. But just like with 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 um with that assist, it's helpful. So again, it does, Nappa doesn't really hit full screen. But again, just like with 16, you're able to to do obviously pressure like this. Where Vegeta can really extend pressure. Now we can talk about game plans of all sorts, but now let's go fighting against Vegeta. Now, if you're fighting against Vegeta, there's something you have to be very wary of is he has no real safe approach full range. Yes, he has great control with his S's and all of this, but he has no real safe approach if he's low on health. So if, he's, if you're in a losing position with Vegeta and you're not in control, it's very hard for him to gain that back versus a savvy opponent. Because from here, Vegeta has all of his specials. Unless he does that, which is 42 frames, which is pretty slow. Everything he does here is punishable. So what I mean by that is we talked about Vegeta using using this or to vanish. Even in this situation, so if Vegeta wants to do this versus himself. Where's my 2H? Okay. God bless my 2H. Why can't I do H? I don't understand. Vegeta OP. Give me a moment. I'll level 3 instead. So if, if someone was able to do this. So here you're able to. To punish. Oh my god. Vegeta OP. Vegeta OP boys and girls. So you're all, he has no safe approach. Because you're going to reflect. If your opponent delays the vanish. So I'll show you one more time. If your opponent somehow delays the vanish for some reason, if they're not really fast on delaying the vanish, you're able to 2H. So it's something you have to be very, very, very careful of if when, you, when you are playing as Vegeta. Because there's no way for him to kind of get in safely. What happened there? There we go. There's no safe way of Vegeta getting in. So the opponent, the opponent might not be able to 2H at all times. But your opponent can do this. So what your opponent can do if they have a, if they have an invincible move, they can throw out their invincible move. So you do have to be very very wary of that. Now speaking on 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 his full screen approach, Vegeta also has no true string into vanish. So what I mean by that is, your opponent's always able to reflect. So even all his multiple specials, oh, I will spot this. All of his specials. Vegeta, all of them into Vanish, your opponent is able to reflect every single one. This is completely different though. This, however, is the funniest. This special here, one of the only specials Vegeta has. However, your opponent might not be able to... I'll show you right now. Opponent can reflect and also... Your opponent can always super dash. So Vegeta has no real true string. So he ha so when he's extending pressure alone, he has to take a bit of risks, especially if he's versing a character himself. Let's do it again. See here, that's the safest one. But all the others, he has to watch out for his opponent being able to reflect. Or to be able to Dragon Punch, as we saw when he does this. Just one more time. He has to watch out for these things. So, he ending his strings or ending his pressure by himself, Vegeta has to take some sort of risk either by doing a 6M or liberally taking data or, key or carrying on doing strings. So, Vegeta has to really put himself forward when he's doing strings. But yeah, let's go back to character select before we spend way too long talking about Vegeta. So yeah, we talked about Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, we talked about if you're really interested in the character, if you're really interested in controlling the pace of the game, Vegeta is great at that. So he's great at maintaining that full range control in the game. So partners, we talked about how 18 um, full screen doesn't help him convert pressure with her A assist, but we saw with the B and C assist that they were helping him there. And also we talked about the A assist was also helpful for him maintaining pressure up close. 
So that's someone you could think about for Vegeta if you are thinking about it, if you're playing 18. We also talked about base Vegeta, how his A assist wasn't really helping him with full screen conversions, but up close and maintaining pressure and baiting the opponent to press buttons for Vegeta doing long strings because his strings are fantastic. Base Vegeta was helpful. We talked about um, Nappa and and um, 16, how si similar assists, how they weren't great. They, they were they weren't great for for full screen pressure in the air. However, they were great for using it on the ground. So they helped him convert some full screen pressure on the ground and maintain pressure. Now, firing against Vegeta, we talked about he has no rule safe approach um, full range if he's low on health or if he's chasing you. So 2 through 6 H and all these moves. It is reflectable on block and if you delay the vanish by a certain amount, he can be 2 H'd. He can be level 3'd um, and also he can always be reflected. And talking, speaking on that, we also talked about um, he has no true string into vanish. So he can't extend pressure alone without taking a risk. So he's, if he's, even though he's minus 2, he can't really extend pressure. Um, without his opponent being able to have a backdash, um, contest, or, or, or something of the like. So you do have to be very wary when you're picking Vegeta and be very, very smart um, with the pressure when you challenge. But yeah, I hope this helps um, um, everyone. I think this is the 100 sub video, so I'm really happy about that. But um, as always, we're doing these videos to create, kind of create a community where we really talk about characters and think critically about the decisions of the characters picking the game. But yeah, I hope this video helps someone. Peace.